JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFT's daily market review for January the 13th. I am Harlamos Pissuros, head of research here at JFT and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving, moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, so should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar continued trading lower against all the other major currencies on Wednesday during the Asian session uh, Thursday, losing the most ground versus CHF, AUD and NZD. Now, the weakening of the US dollar combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi suggests that the financial community continued trading in a risk-on environment. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major EU and US indices continue to trade in the green, However, sentiment softened during the Asian session today. European and US shares may have continued to gain uh, on the back of uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell's remarks, suggesting that the Fed may not be in a rush to tighten monetary policy, at least not faster than what market participants are currently pricing in but also due to the CPIs not accelerating by more than anticipated. The headline rate hit 7% year over year, the highest since 1982, but this was uh, what the market has been anticipating. Remember yesterday we said that with equities rebounding on Tuesday, even with uh, such uh, forecast being publicly known, it would uh, have need um, an upside surprise, excuse me, an upside surprise for investors to start pricing uh, pricing in a more aggressive strategy by, by the Fed. For now, according to the Fed Fund Futures, they are fully pricing in a 25 basis points hike to be delivered in May, with a decent chance of this happening a month or two earlier. Now, as for today, market participants are likely to turn their gaze to Fed Board uh, Governor Lail Brainard's testimony before the Senate Banking Committee. She will be testifying on her nomination, on her nomination as, as Fed uh, Vice Chair. It would be interesting to hear her view on monetary policy, but given that yesterday she already, she already made some remarks saying that controlling inflation is the most important task facing the Fed right now, we don't expect any major deviations. Although she was considered a dove ahead of her nomination, she thereafter showed willingness to combat high inflation and thus we do expect her to be in favor of rate increases this year. However, in order for her, uh, in order for her remarks to change uh, the course of the market, she needs to sound more hoggish than Powell did on Tuesday, something we see as unlikely given her dovish views in, uh, in the past. We believe that anything confirming the current market pricing may allow equities to continue gaining while the US dollar could stay under selling interest. Now, as for the rest of today's events, the only releases worth mentioning are the US PPIs for December and the US initial jobless claims for last week. Usually we monitor the PPIs as a gauge of the CPIs as producer prices usually feed into consumer prices. However, bearing in mind that we already got the CPIs yesterday, we don't expect the PPIs to prove a major market mover. Just for the record, they are expected to accelerate further. Initial jobless claims are forecast to have declined slightly. Now, as for the speakers, besides Fed Board Governor Brainard, we will get to hear from ECB Vice President Luis de Guindos, ECB Executive Board Member Frank Elderson, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker, and Chicago Fed President Charles Evans. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events uh, of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, tomorrow.
JFT just fair and direct.